What up, everyone? It's your boy, The Evil Collector, back at you with another action figure review. Today's review is with the Mattel Masters of the Universe, Masterverse Deluxe, Princess of Power, Shira. And I was able to pick her up at my local Target, so if you're looking for her, go check out your Targets. I believe her and Hordak are showing up in the stores. But let's get to my review of this figure and let's look at the side of it. And in the side, you get her name, Shira, most powerful woman in the universe. Por favor. But she is, right? And then we have her here, a great artwork of her. Looking awesome. So cool. Even the box where it bends, it has her all the way down to her legs, or her bottom of her feet. So that looks cool. On the top, you get the Masterverse logo. Shira, looking cool. If you're looking for her, pause it right there. UPC, you're welcome. And in the back, you get this great illustration of her and Swiftwind. Is that her, the, the, the horse's name I remember? And then your little bio. When Adora raises the sword of protection above her head and cries, For the honor of Grayskull, she transforms into Shira, princess of power and leader of Ethera's great rebellion. Is it Ethera's? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But anyways, let's look at all the characters that come in this line. Definitely waiting for to pick him up and probably gonna add them to. Not a fan of that TV show, so I'm definitely passing on those. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and um take her out of the box and see what she's all about. Here is Shira out of the box and ready to raise her sword of protection and save everybody wherever she's at. And well, let's check out her accessories real quick before we get into her. And um, she comes with a shield that has that medallion inside it. And from what the looks of it, yeah, you can see right through into it, it looks cool. Let me just go and put this light on real quick. Give you a little extra effect. Yeah, it's like transparent. You can see right into it. I want to say that's where you can see the sorceress talking to her and her sword of protection looking cool and has a little emerald in there as well cool cool love her sword she comes with another pair of hands she comes with a gripping hand to hold her sword and then one a punching hand for the power punch she gives everybody else nice cool small quick accessories not too much but whatever you know and also she comes with her alternate head with her mask on very cool love the detail on it also mine has a little baby scuff in there i guess i could take it all later on but yeah looking cool the hair is okay it's kind of like bland and plain cool it's head scope and then she comes with another uh a cape cloth cape awesome i like that thank you mattel and um, comes with her shoulder pads that she wears. I'm not really too familiar with this, with this piece. Maybe it's from a newer series or something. I don't remember her wearing this back in the old one in the, in the 80s, but maybe I, I just overlooked it. But yeah, she comes with this with her cape, cloth cape, looking cool. And then of course, the woman of the hour, Shira, the princess of power. And right away, I. I think it's a very good looking figure. I don't have the classics one uh, or any older, other one they have, but this one to me is awesome, man. I really dig her. I mean, just look at the detail in the eyes. Beautiful how they did the painting in the eyes, the mouth, the eyebrows, her tiara. Cool, I think mine has a little keep it in there. defect by her eyelash maybe. Well, maybe it's just her, oh yeah, it is her eyelash group. I have it on this side too. Cool looking figure. So mine has a little bit of a few uh, skulls here and there. Nothing major. Cool, man, I'm excited I got her. So let's do her articulation real quick, right? That's what we're here to check out. So her head does not look up or down. Oh, it looks down very little. The hair really hinders everything and Mine has a little bit of smudge right there. I guess some red kind of coloring. My tiara is kind of crooked, I guess you could say. It should have been more flat down, but it's not. So she doesn't look up at all. Doesn't Looks down very 
Oh, well, very little she does. Moves around the head, but the, the hair hinders it. Um, her shoulders has a 360 ball joint in there. Upper biceps feels good. Double jointed elbows. And then wrist swivel with the hinge. Upper torso movement's really good. Mine's a baby smidge loose, but no, it's, it's, it's livable. And then her waist movement, but her skirt's kind of cloth, so it kind of hinders it all. So it's just pretty much the upper torso, but gives it the movement. And then her splits, does the splits do it very good. Uh, upper thigh cut, very good. Double jointed knees, mine are kind of tight. It kicks back that high. You could throw her as a kick, kicking Hordak in the face. Boot cut, very good. The boot moves around. And then you have your ankle movement. You're looking good, moving it around good. And I want to say the cape comes off, right? Let's see. Oh my God. That is a tough, tough, tight head in there. <laughs> no pun intended. So you could take the cape off. Put this one on, see what it looks like. Put this head on there, you know I don't want it on there. We'll just drop it on. And that's how she looks with her alternate head scope and the other cape. Actually, yeah, I like this other cape, it looks pretty cool. Let's take off this hand and put this hand with the sword. Put the sword in this hand right here. And there we go. Ready for battle. I dig it. Man, that looks cool. Man, Shira, all right. But we, we don't want this head scope. So we're gonna take this off, take this back off. I kind of just like this little, little small cape. Well, this little cape comes with a little ring and grounds her neck for a necklace. And then it's like another cloth, small piece compared to this one. So. Not bad. I'm gonna put this one back on. There. Oh, that one really popped in. Sword in this hand. Sword of protection. And there you go, y'all. Shira. The Princess of Power. Uh, let's do some size comparisons real quick. So I have my 40th anniversary, he man, right here next to Shira, her brother, Adora and Adam together in their powered up forms. Looking cool. Man, that looks cool. I really dig this he man. I'm not going to lie. And I, I had to get Shira, you know, because I do. I did watch her cartoon when I was little and it was just awesome. I just love it. So female comparisons, we're going to move he man to the back. We're gonna bring the new Eternia Tila match up with her and then my custom Evil Lynn that everybody's been messaging me about. Where'd you get it, bro? I made it. And there she is right there with her brother, with Tila and Evil Lynn. They actually look all three together pretty cool. It's like He Man's Angels or Prince Adam's Angels or Adam's Angels. <laughs> Um, hope you liked the video, man. Uh, comment below. Let me know if y'all are going to pick her up and add her to your Masterverse collection or if you're going to pass on her. I'm looking for Hordak, so hopefully I'll have him soon and I'll definitely be doing a review on Hordak and comparing him to all the other villains I have for the Masters of the Universe I have collecting in my display. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Keep, uh, I'm going to keep having content come out. Hope y'all have a good day. Take care, my peeps, and evil out. Be like me, He-Man, the masters of the universe, and subscribe to the Evil Collector channel right now.